Okay, we're gonna be doing one final run of this guy of one complete. This is the European version. And this means this will be entirely in English. As usual, I've I've done this before four times already. Now I'm gonna be doing it for the fifth time. Hopefully this will be the most optimized run I do for this. Our goal is to get all 31 trophies for this game. And the trophies are basically the same as the Steam achievements if you have this guy one on the PC. To get all the trophies for this game, we have to beat the game. We have to beat all bosses, all optional bosses and post-game bosses. We also have to beat the alternate story mode, Aetna mode. And we also have to do a crap ton of damage, 10 million damage which will in turn get us uh, all these other trophies like a thousand kills, a lot of money, and a lot of levels. Other than that, it's a pretty simple trophy list. The biggest roadblock is going to be the 10 million damage, and a lot of our time will be spent working towards getting this damage value. So, I guess we will get started, and before we start the game properly, we have to change our settings. So what I want to do is adjust the settings so that my the animations are off and the game runs as fast as possible, so that's all we want to do for that. And we can just leave the, all these other options the way we, they are. You can change the language from English to French, but we don't want that because I, I can't read, read French. Autosave will be off because autosave kind of is a bit, um, it kind of a bit of a hindrance. Like it, it likes to, it basically pop up and interrupts the gameplay, so we don't want that. So, but I will save after like critical moments. So, in the event the game does crash, which I hope doesn't happen, we won't be losing too much progress. Now that we've done that, we can start this run properly and. Try to get this game done in 8 hours 30 minutes. Alright, let's do it. First off, we skip the initial cutscene, then we go to the throne room, then we look for this button, back to the throne, to click it. Then we're gonna go to the main hub area, then we're gonna go to the skull, click the button there, then immediately we're gonna go over here in this corner, which is where Etna's diary is, we need to do that because we want to read every Etna diary for each chapter at the beginning of each chapter so that we can get um, Etna mode unlock. Here, we're gonna buy an axe for Laharl. I kind of want an axe that has a little more attack, so I'm looking for a battle axe. A slightly more attack and kind of cheap, so let's give him an axe. And we can also now we can go to the tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna get some prinnies at the start. We're gonna attack them with Lahal for um, so that they can get killed and we get mana. For killing them. So I just want to keep attacking my Prinnies so that they die and we get mana. It's kind of unconventional, but we will be used needing a lot of mana to uh, create characters. So that's why we need that. 
I'm gonna attack Edna as well. At this point, we can't lift and throw yet, but we can in the next map. So, we're gonna do the same thing with the previous map attack our prinnies. This time, we do have Etna. Oh, well, we have the ability to lift and throw, so we're gonna combine enemies into each other so they can get a higher level. And higher level enemies getting killed means we get more experience and money from them. Okay, so we have a level 3. I mean, but that's not a problem, because uh, the hard counter attack and they're weakened. Alright. Then we have one more map to do. We're gonna do the same thing, kill off our prinnies and have Etna combine them. I do want to try to kill these enemies on the the red tiles so we get more experience after we kill them. Now enemies tend to attack your weakest character so I'm going to use that tendency to kind of exploit their AI. So now that we've done all the tutorial parts, we're going to go here and we're going to create new characters. First, we want to create five red skulls or red mages. It doesn't matter which ones as long as they're of the mage type. So that's, I believe, four created. I just need one more. We will need five mages or skulls for the Braveheart skill. Very useful skill. Now I'm going to create one male warrior and one female warrior. We're going to need those two to level up so that we can unlock new classes and then I'm going to create one, I think I'm going to create uh, seven or eight male or female brawlers. These units are very useful to create, to have in mass quantities at the beginning because uh, they have uh, a lot of movement. They have six movement which is a uh, huge early in the game. So I'm going to create a lot of them for throwing purposes. And then we also need at least one male brawler for unlocking certain classes, which we'll get to when that time comes. And I think that should be it as far as the characters. We don't really need a healer for this. Okay, so that's done. We're going to revive our crew. Oh, we also need to delete our Rinnies because we don't need Rinnies for this. I already got the equipment that we can get from them. At this point, the Rinnies are just going to end up taking space. So, we just need to delete them so that they don't get in the way. Now we're going to go do the first map, Byers Castle. So, for this, we're going to get rid of this Geo symbol, which is offering the enemy boost effect. Then toss this symbol over here, which gives more experience. Then we're going to try to combine these enemies as much as possible and have Laharl kill them so he can get more experience and money. 
money is kind of tight early on in the game, so we want to do whatever means necessary to get as much money as possible. So I'm gonna throw this guy over so we can reach this enemy and throw him to this mage so we can find them. And we're gonna have Lahal hit this mage with a boulder crush. Typically skills tend to do more damage. So you do want to use them over a regular attack. Alright, that's done. We're gonna go heal up and move on to the next map. What I do want to do is I do want to have most of my characters get killed actually because uh, I do need to um, have a, a bunch of characters KO'd so that we can uh, unlock an Imperial Seal in the hospital. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go pick up this guy and then throw him into the base panel. Bring this guy out. It is very likely that the base panel will be destroyed and thus all the low level characters I have in there will get KO'd, which is great. That's exactly what I want to happen. And then <clears throat> when we get out of this stage, we'll, we're gonna have a hefty amount of money to pay to revive those KO'd units. And that's fine as long as we get closer to unlocking that Imperial Seal. That's what matters. Now we're just gonna try to beat up these enemies, which shouldn't be an issue with Maharl. So I'm gonna go throw this brawler here so we can reach this brawler and combine it with this puck. And we're just gonna have Maharl beat this puck up. Alright. Then at this point we're just gonna have Maharl kill these other two. So now we have a, probably a lot of hospital bills to pay up, but we can afford them, it's great. I think at this point we're gonna do the... Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can do this, the promotion exam. At this point Lahal has learned Blazing Knuckle, which is a useful skill that will attack all these guys. Alright, great. We're not gonna do the... We are not gonna do the um, the next promotion exam yet because uh, this stage is a good stage for getting some massive amount of experience. So we're gonna throw all these enemies into this one enemy this one green ghost at the bottom of this pond because this enemy for some reason happens to be a passive enemy which means they won't attack us at all. So we can just throw everybody into the that one ghost and for some reason um, the ghost takes precedence over all the other enemies, so having the ability to combine all these enemies into a passive one is really nice. So now we're gonna just keep attacking this passive enemy while it's not fully leveled yet. We're just going to weaken it enough so that we can get into a good position to combine it with all the other enemies. 
I think this might be one of those scenarios where this enemy has double defense because enemies can have randomly double defense or double resistance which makes them a pain to kill depending on what attack method you're using all right so I'm just gonna attack it once more with boulder crush then I will start combining it with the other enemies okay all right let's toss all these enemies together and I will toss them all into this ghost. I think I'll end my turn and then have the enemies kill off these guys so they get closer to my brawlers. Then we're just gonna pick this mage up, throw her into this ghost. Then we have a level 33 ghost, which we will just proceed to beat up with Laharl. At this point, we're out of SP, so we're just gonna have Laharl. Well, we'll see if we have a SP healing item. We do not. So I'm just gonna have to keep attacking with Laharl until he dies. It's not really that hard to do diagonal throws if you time it correctly. It's not a super tight timing. I don't have any problems doing it. Although sometimes there are crucial diagonal throws that would suck to miss. Like in the next stage, I'm gonna need to do one. And it is gonna suck if we uh, miss it. But thankfully this version has a retry feature, so it's not a big deal if we miss it. Like you pretty much have to do to commit to the diagonal throw the moment you change the controller to stick in the other direction. So I'm gonna uh, um, I'm gonna be um, re-rolling this for a rare. I did get the rare Imperial Seal I wanted. I just need to re-roll for some rare healing items. There are going to be some situations where having some healing items in stock is useful. Also, by killing that enemy, we got Laharl to... Oh, shoot, I missed it. By killing that enemy, we got Laharl to level 12, which is great. We can also do the promotion. Ah, shoot, I missed it. That's the problem with doing this. Like sometimes you'll do it so fast you'll miss the diag diagonal throw. I mean, the rare. Okay, finally got it. So I'm gonna do the second promotion exam with the Harl now, and then these guys shouldn't be too big of a problem. Since we have Blazing Knuckle. And we also have the levels on our side. So even if the zombies poison us, we should be able to kill them easily. So now that we have that, we will save our game. What we want to do is to unlock the belts. Well, I want to do two, two things. I want to pass the the belt bill. Ooh, wow, okay, that's exactly enough to get the yay. I'm gonna save that one. This is where most of the early game RNG ends up mattering. So passing that bill on the first try was great. I have to pass the shoe bill because I will need to worry about buying shoes eventually. Oh, two off. I'm gonna give up. I'm not gonna pass by force if I end up getting a nay because it just takes too long to, to do that. So 
I want to get. Um, I also want to get better items from this store, so I have to spend some money, and then unlock the next customer rank. So I'm gonna pass the more expensive stuff bill. It should pass easily. And now that we have that, I will save my game. In hindsight, I should have bought healing items instead of garbage weapons I sh don't really need. I also need to buy a fist at some point because we will need that. So I'm gonna pass the shoe bill. The shoe bill. Oh, the nay. Well, I have. Do I have enough mana to pass it twice? No, I don't. So we do have to load our save. So I need to get the this bill passed because I do want to buy a belt. Oh, this I, I will say I'm glad that they did away with the the way you pass bills in the other games they don't add the mana cost anymore ah oh, so close this is where most of our time like is uh, subject to RNG I do want to get a belt to get a decent enough attack stat for the next stage because we will be trying to kill a high level enemy. Ah, uh, so good that the first time we attempted to pass the, the shoot bill. Well, I do have the belt bill pass. I think the shoe bill could be something we can work on getting like later on. It's not really strictly necessary. I just want to pass it now and get it over with sooner than later. So I'm going to try twice more if I fail again. If I fail one more time, I'm just going to move on. Just say. I really just need the belt bill passed and I got that. The shoe bill is going to come into play later on. It's going to come in much later on. Because um, the shoe bill is only going to matter for um, getting into the item world. Which okay, uh, maybe one more. This bill is fairly stubborn. I don't like uh, trying to pass this bill, these two bills. Ah, uh, frick. Yeah, let's just move on. I'll probably pass that bill when I feel like it's time. Or we could get lucky and just get shoe drops. Okay, at any rate, let's buy a better belt. Uh, well, let's buy a belt. Let's see. I want to buy a belt that has a good amount of attack. So I'll buy that one. Then I'll buy. I'll equip the Imperial Seal onto the Harl. Then we will probably get him a better weapon. I'll probably just sell. Some of this stuff here, we don't need that. And then the iron axe, I'll buy that, put it on him. Okay, so now I will. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I need to sell some stuff so I can heal my guys. Alright, I think we're ready now. Just need to heal up, then we're good to go. Okay, so this one, we're going to need to combine every single enemy 
into the boss. Okay, that's not where I want to end my turn. First thing we need to do is bring Laharl out and then have him end turn in a very specific spot so we can trigger the two enemies over on this edge to come towards us. Now that's done, we're gonna pick this guy up and then do a diagonal throw onto this archer. Then we're gonna toss these ghosts onto this green mage So ideally I want to toss them all into this um, warrior here. Okay, we're going to lose a couple guys, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to weaken this mage a little bit oh shoot I didn't mean to do that okay that's fine I'm gonna have one brawler lift her up Oh shoot, the fact that he killed two of them is kind of bad. This might be bad, I didn't want him to kill more than one character. Okay, let's see if he kills Laharl. Uh, I don't think you can do this one here. Not like this. Okay, let's try again. So defend first turn. These guys are going to attack. Okay, um, 93 attack. That might be a little too low. So I kind of don't want the mage to be the final product. What I'll do is I'll just. Combine them into a one ghost. Okay, I think that's good. Now we can have Laharl smack this ghost. before we throw it into the warrior. I think that's what I wanna do. Ah shoot, the enemy boost is boosting its stats by a lot. That's why I didn't kill. Okay. We want we want to throw you into the yeah 
that's fine. All right, let's see what happens with the boss. Okay, lost two guys. That's totally fine by me. I'm gonna move my guys back just so mid boss can get to them. So we're gonna attack this ghost once and then I'll probably do one more. Okay, since mid boss is on the panels, it's gonna be a bit tricky to get to him. Yeah, that's wasted wasting a turn. Mid boss weak to fire? No, it's not. Ah, shoot. Does he randomly have high defense? That's a problem if it, that's the case. Okay, yeah, this is bad. <laughs> The good thing is uh, we don't have a single trophy yet, so if I fuck up really badly, I'll just restart this run and then like do the motions from the beginning. I need to check if mid boss has defense, like actual defense. I do want to kill him for. I think what I can do is I can kind of have like a... I will have a bit of a middle ground. Okay, so one of them got killed, that's totally fine. I'm okay with that. So the problem I'm having is that they're ending up on the, the attack tiles. Enemy boost tiles. Okay, that should work. Okay, I definitely need to attack mid boss a couple times before I throw him. Okay, that's fine. There. <laughs> I just had to kill one unit and not have him be level 37. Let's try to get our mages out and then try to get some experience from him. Okay, cool. So I got a set up for the one of the mages. So now one of them is pretty high level. 
ideally I want to get one of them to 12 so they can learn Braveheart. Let's see which one that is. Okay, 16. That's great. This one has Braveheart now. So uh, uh, as far as the next episode goes, this will go really quickly because I don't need to grind my mage at all since I already have a decently high level one. So I don't need to do anything special here. Just go to the next map and just do it. But even though I am behind, this is not going to matter too much because I will technically be ahead by virtue of not having to grind a mage up. Although this will have Lahar a little bit weaker because he is usually if he solo kills mid boss he will be level suppose level twenty two but that's fine. The expectation is that we will get we will have Lahar kill most of these enemies. And then he should be around level 20 or so once we are done with this episode. So I'm gonna still do some combining so that we get Laha up to speed on the levels. Let me see. So I'm gonna combine zombies as much as possible. And then we're gonna uh, miss that one. Fine, we have another brawler to use. Alright. By the way, the reason I like take my time too much on the first episode is because uh, we don't get our first trophy until the first episode is cleared. So I feel like I have some liberties in in um, taking my time there. All right. I'm just going to start combining zombies a lot here. I was expecting that group of zombies to move, but that's fine. They'll probably move next turn. Oh, just one of them. Okay, right. I guess I'll just combine all these guys then. Then let's have Lahar weaken them. Okay, this zombie is weak enough that we can combine it with a bunch of other characters. So let's do that. Alright, so he did get a level. I'm not sure if he got two or one or what. Looks like it might have been just one. Yeah, two. Two is good. Okay, so it's pretty simple. We just throw these imps onto these enemies and then we're gonna just toss the remaining two imps onto the dragon and flan.
We don't want the imps alive because uh, they have uh, an AoE attack. Okay, the dragon doesn't move. Interesting. Normally we would spend a while in this episode trying to get kills with a mage so they can get to level 12, but we don't need to do that here. So it's perfectly fine to just focus on Lahal. So I'm just gonna work on having a I'll beat up Flan with Blazing Knuckle, then we should be able to get the uh, Loha back up to speed level wise. Just lift her every turn, then when we kill her, that's done. Episode 2 is done. Pretty short episode. Did I do Etna's journal? I hope I did, because otherwise we are mess up terribly. Okay, we did. <laughs> Thank goodness. That would have been a disaster if I didn't do that. Okay, I'm gonna buy a fist weapon. Probably wanna buy a better axe weapon for Laharl. Hey, double monk, how you doing? Alright, I'm gonna grab this Gen C exit in case we need it. Then this double slap shall be equipped. I will make a save here just in case something goes wrong in item world. I want to go to the Tomahawk. Okay, so we have our gatekeeper. So what we're gonna do is, since we don't have a user of triple strike, which is acquired by hitting people, hitting enemies while you have a fist weapon equipped, we're just gonna have Lahal get triple strike by hitting enemies on this floor. Yeah, I'm just gonna have him beat up on enemies and then eventually he will learn triple strike after a few uses because Lohal does have an A in fist. Okay, so that's one trophy. And uh, I'm gonna. I think he should learn it by now. No, he didn't. So uh, I should remember to get another trophy counter. Okay. So far, this floor is going well. We have uh, not many enemies, not many uh, gatekeepers. Just need to do a throw chain here. I'm gonna have Lahal beat this beat up this field symbol just so he can get some fist uses here. Then do we have a gatekeeper? Yes we do. Okay, one one one. We have recovery 20% and attack 20%. I think we can just have a brawler toss Laharl and then he'll probably just, I'll probably just have him move towards the enemies because he does have a, he does have a, what, what is it? Overlord's Wrath, you can use that to beat up this enemy. Okay, one more use and he will get triple strike. Okay. 
Okay, so now that he does have triple strike, we probably won't need triple strike right now because we can just beat up this guy with one regular attack. So far, this item world section is going great. Okay, there is a gatekeeper, we have enemy boost invincibility, silence. Okay, I can definitely beat him with just Laharl alone, so I'm gonna have four, five brawlers chain bro Laharl over to the gatekeeper and then slay them with probably boulder crush. Yeah, I have to throw them in such a way that Lahal lands right next to the gatekeeper. Nice. Another gatekeeper. We do have a, a, a gladiator, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's a gladiator, so we're just gonna kill that, I think. That's what we wanna do. Okay. Then throw somebody right to the exit. Okay, looks like we might not be needing triple strike after all. If the enemies are gonna this, but we do have a zombie that's kind of bulky. I wanna use triple strike for this situation. So we equip the double slap, and then no, we don't. We want triple strike. Move this guy over. Okay, triple strike did end up coming in handy. Uh, do I want to kill this guy? He is weak to fire. Okay, I'll try to kill him. Sure. Since the exit is very close to the base panel, I think it's worth it. To at least try to attempt this. Okay, we will get a little bit of an extra attack on the weapon if we kill this guy. Oh, we'll also get a trophy for killing the um, item. Oh shit, for healing him. Uh, that's bad. I think it's just better to leave then. Okay, we did subdue the gladiator, so that's fine. So now we can equip our level up tomahawk. Uh, then we can blaze through the rest of this chapter. So combine these enemies and then we'll have Lahal beat up the resulting enemy. That green brawler is kind of beefy so I probably want to combine him with a regular brawler. I guess he takes precedence, so that's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, the higher tier brawlers take precedence over the lower tier despite the level differences. We're just gonna combine then kill them. Pretty simple. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna beat up these enemies with Lahal. Pretty straightforward. Wow. 
I think I might be at the point where I, I will have enough the next emblem, which is the Dark Rosaries. I will try to reset for a rare Dark Rosary right after this uh, map is over. Let's go. So now I'm gonna... Once that's done, the next map is a bit long. I expect to get the 100 kills trophy in this uh, in this uh, next map. Hey Barbados, thanks for the good luck. Okay, we do have a dark rosary, so I'm gonna re-roll until I get a rare. Take that rooster blood. Anything else that turns up rare, I'll take it. But I do want the dark rosary in particular. We need as much attack as we can muster for the next episode. Here we go, rare dark rosary, and I didn't back out of it. Alright. Lots of enemies, but they're all pretty weak. Except for that one, uh... That one... Second tier enemy. I'm gonna use blaze knuckle on these. Wipe them all out. Okay. I'll just use blaze knuckle again. I don't want that green brawler hanging around for too long because he does hit kind of hard. Then at this point, I think I'll probably get the 100 kills trophy. It's nice that you can just roll hard over those pillars. They're not really a big hindrance. Okay, he does have enough SP for one blazing knuckle. Which is great. I do need to equip the Dark Rosary. Okay, Dark Rosary has been equipped. Now we're gonna go fight Hogmiser. So we just wanna combine all the enemies into Hogmiser. Then I probably wanna nail him with. An Overlord's Wrath at least once. Uh, no, I want to nail Hogmiser with at least two. And uh, one of the combined brawlers with Overlord's Wrath at least once. We're gonna lift her. Hogmiser doesn't do anything on the first turn. So we're gonna do lift him and then have Lahal nail both of these enemies with Overlord's Wrath. Shouldn't kill them, should weaken them considerably. Then at this point, we can just lift Hogmiser up and we can bring out our skull to have. In Braveheart Laharl. Just having Braveheart in this fight will make it this fight so much easier. We want to kill the, a Hogmeister that's as high level as possible so we can get a lot of money from him. And a lot of levels for Laharl as well. Okay, I want to do Boulder Crush a couple times and that should end Hogmiser. I'm going to use Braveheart just in case we don't. Okay, cool. 
He's done. All right, episode three has been completed. Now I just need to go start the process to capture enemies because that's how we're going to get really overpowered in this game. So just like that, we're ahead of schedule. Okay, so this one, we're just going to combine the enemies and then... beat the crap out of them. Normally the a speed run would try to capture the enemies right in this episode, but I'm not gonna do that. Just cause it uh, this one is a good map for experience. I'm just going to combine this last enemy with this one. I will probably want to weaken him first. He's resistant to fire. Okay, so that's not work. I'm just going to combine him with this guy. And then we're just going to do the lift strategy until he's the half and kill him. Okay. Yeah, level 70 Jack O' Lantern who will die in the next turn. Hey, what's up, Aliana? Yeah, I saw the news. I think it's too pricey for what it is, though. I, don't, I certainly don't see myself doing speedruns of that version. For what it is, the, I feel like it, it's just too pricey. Okay, I'm gonna try to capture a Jaffa Lantern. And that's fair. I don't think I would get that much playtime out of the, uh, the mobile version though. Personally, because I... I don't know, I just don't think it's something I would do at work. Okay, I'm going to try to capture this guy. We're going to toss Lahal into the base panel so he retains his Braveheart buffs. He's level 56, so we can reasonably capture him. I think what I'll do is I'll I will not attack with Lahar anymore just because he's uh, probably pretty weak already. What I will do though is I will smack this enemy with my mage. Okay, he does a decent amount. Let's do that. I'll just smack him a bit, a bit with the. Red Mage, Red Skull. I think one more turn should do it. Then I'll toss him to the base panel.
cool captured it now I just hope I can afford the revival cost which I probably could because I did get a lot of money from hog miser now we, we'll just have the hog beat these enemies up pretty simple Okay, I don't think I need to heal for this because we will just be exploiting the the terrain features. Okay, so what I want to do is just toss this symbol onto the area. And then they're slowly going to die off. Then I definitely want Lahal to kill this enemy. Then after that, I'll just wait for them all to die off slowly. Okay, I can get a devil ring, so let's grab that. So now that this enemy has been recruited to our party, we will have to equip them. They do need a weapon, so I'm gonna buy a trap parasol. Yeah, let's buy that. Okay, I'm basically ahead of the curve with the leveling. So now our objective is to kill mid boss with the. Uh, The pumpkin. I need to be able to kill mid boss specifically with with the pumpkin because uh, we're gonna do like a little chain deal. Basically, we're just gonna use the enemy we captured to to capture the next enemy. That we want to capture and then just keep moving up from there. So I'm just gonna boost this guy up. We're just gonna keep doing this until the enemies end up very close to us. Then we will proceed to combine them into mid boss and beat. Them up with the Harlan company. Okay, I do want Lahal to actually learn Braveheart so he doesn't have to stay close to this skull every time. Okay, so uh, Lahal will. Probably on a brave heart himself. I'm pretty sure this the pumpkin is already as high as he will go attack wise. Okay, so they're close enough to me so I can retreat my buffers and have my brawlers come out and combine them into each other. Combine all the enemies into each other. Yeah, I'm gonna try to severely weaken this guy. Ok, 
Okay, he does 400 something. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of allies hit. So, let's see. I want to beat up mid boss with the Harl and. The pumpkin. Okay, pumpkin got the kill, great. By having the pumpkin get the kill, he gets a lot of levels for doing so. Which means we will also have a much better chance of performing the next few captures. Actually, I think at this point we might be able to skip the capture with the... Maybe not. It's a bit too risky. I mean, I could skip the capture with the... Yeah, at this point, I probably could skip the capture with the puck, couldn't I? Well, in any case, we're just going to beat up these imps with our characters. The attack minus 50% effect is going to be a bit annoying, but uh, we will try to pull through. Okay, so I think here's what I'll do. There's a bunch of. Let's see, I can get a 96 enemy. I think at this point we might just wanna. Yeah, the enemy we, what we wanna capture is 112. I think we'll just kill off these enemies. So with the remaining enemies I can get like a 60, 70 something. That's probably not good enough. If I can get the next intended capture on the first attempt, then I'll be way ahead. Just because I'm skipping this capture. Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to upgrade my weapon. So let's take a bit of time to try to get a better weapon from the store. The only issue that this route is going to have is I'm going to have less 
less of an opportunity to get uh, Well, I'll have one less party member to work with. Ooh, that's kind of bad. I don't know if I want to persuade by force. Are there enemies here low level enough? I could have taken that 140 something. I just want centers that aren't too high level. Nice, unanimous. Yay. So I'm gonna buy a better weapon. This should immensely help us out with the next capture that we wanna do. I'm gonna transfer my stuff onto Laharo. Probably wanna buy a better weapon for this guy. Not a better weapon, a better belt. So Monster Belt doesn't offer that much and it's double the price. What the heck? Okay, that should be more than enough. I'm taking some extra precautions to upgrade my equipment because I'm normally I would capture a level 84 puck before I attempt to even capture in this stage, but we're not doing that. So this is just for extra insurance. I guess I haven't really talked about the mechanics of capturing. So, to properly capture an enemy, you need to weaken them enough and then toss them into the base panel. The lower the HP and SP that the target has, the better. And then it We'll do like a simulation battle between all the units and the monster and all the other units in your base panel. So the higher the attack of the units in the base panel, the higher the odds of the enemy getting captured. So that's why we're, we're actively trying to use Braveheart on our highest stat attackers before we commit to throwing the enemy into the base panel. So we're just gonna combine these enemies into this one, Nakamata, who will be our final target that we will try to capture. Then we're gonna move this guy. At this point, we will want to set up our units in such a way that we have units that are able to attack the Nakamata. So right now we just want the Nakamala to use up all of its SP trying to attack our units who won't take any damage because of the invincibility effect. And then at this point we're just going to bring out our um, we're just going to try to use some uh, skills to weaken this Nakamata. So we just pick up this geo symbol so that we can actually deal damage to this Nekamata and then just attack her with whatever units we have. We don't want to use regular attacks to attack her because she will counter attack and likely kill whoever attack her. I want to see how much damage Boulder Crush does, 58. 
So we just have to keep doing this until the Nekamata's weak now. Okay, I'm gonna try fire on her to see how much that does. It does nothing. How about mega fire? About 43. Let me try mega fire again just in case. Okay, 31. I think we can just blast her once with mega fire. Okay. That's a bit pushing it. I'm kind of worried I'll do like a 40 something. And then kill her. Okay, 10, that's. I think we're good. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Move our units, our main attackers back here. Then have the Nekamata. Put back. And we're just gonna use Braveheart on our pumpkin and Laharl five times until their attack is maxed out. So Braveheart is now level three for this mage. Yeah, just we can now multi buff. Throw Laharl into the base panel. He retains his stat buffs. Point our mage is out of SP. Probably wanna heal him with one of these. We have 1282 attack on our pumpkin. That's as high as it'll go. Okay, 650 is also as high as it'll go for Laharl. We just need to make sure we have the best whips here. Let's flip Imperial Seal on the hull, then we'll, we'll toss the uh, base panel. Hopefully, the best. Nice capture! Okay, that puts us way ahead since we are doing one less capture. Feather token, I'm gonna reset for that. There's the rare feather token. Now we can just equip our new monster with all this stuff that we have. So we should just be able to smash through this stage with our 
successfully captured Nekamata. Okay, another trophy. So I'm still on track for Etna. And episode 5 has been completed. Now we're gonna go to the Blair Forest. There is no capture that we'll need to do until the very last. Part. Okay, so we're just gonna bring out our units and have them kill these enemies. Pretty straightforward stage, although there's a lot going on. A pretty busy stage. At this point, I'm just lining up my units so that enemies will hopefully try to attack them, and then we'll they should ideally line up so that we can kill them, kill multiple of them with AOEs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. Well, I don't need to heal until the alternate overlord fight is coming up soon. The alternate overlord fight is a fight where we can have the potential of getting a lot of money. So, since we are down a character from the usual route, I do want to make sure I... And comfortably kill at least two. Of the alternate overlord forms. Okay, here, this is the alternate overlord fight, I need to go quit. So, what I want to do is I want to buff up my main units and then hope that we can get a scenario where a few of the alternate overlord forms get weakened horribly. So. We can finish off a couple of them. Okay, it's looking all right. Looks like I should be able to kill. Ah, shoot! Too many counters for that guy. 
All right, I think I can probably take these two down. I want to kill at least two of them so I have money. Just they give a lot of money when you kill them about 20,000 apiece. Nice, kill that one. So I think what I would want to do is I want to lift the one that's low in HP so I can kill that one next turn. And then they can just finish off the one that's surviving with full HP. Okay, got three of them. Oh, it's 30,000. Even better. Since Laharl and my buffer died, we're gonna have to revive them that and let's go send out our units to kill a few of these initial enemies mystic blast this group and then bring out the pumpkin who will use jack rush on the group of units that are over here And I'll just bring out the Harl. All right. So I can Mystic Blast these two. Then we'll have the Harl bolt across this guy. I'll just do a Jack Knife on this guy. Prism Red, I'm just gonna uh, Mystic Blast him. Then Laha will bolt to crush you, and if there is no other unit that's close by. Okay. Beat this guy up, and that guy's a bit too far off, so I'll just toss him down here. Hopefully, somebody can get to him. Hey, what's up, Kristoff? Yeah, um, it's actually not as hard as you might think. As I will, if you stick around, you'll see how easy it is to get powerful in this game. So where is it, last guy? Okay, there he is, right in the corner. I'll have to kill him. All right. So now we're gonna do the next capture attempt. I do have my units properly equipped, right? I'm gonna move Maderas here because he's just gonna get in the way. Uh, I'm gonna move Hogmiser and Maderas now that I think about it. And Flan too, because they're just getting in the way. Uh, Blair Forest, let's go. Well, I have to do Item World three times. No, four times. At least two trips have to be done for um, item god 2 and item god 1. I'm gonna do item world in about 5 hours. Uh, at about the 5 hour mark. Maybe 4 hour mark if this early game goes well. Now, Maderas. Okay, so I need somebody to lift this guy. So we're gonna try to capture this level 170 pup right here. So I'm gonna retreat all my units except for a couple will be used to lift him. Okay, let's put our Nekamatha here because she's probably the one I want to boost the most. Then 
pumpkin goes here. We're gonna brave heart these two. Then after that, we're gonna use a uh, rapid kick on him. Hey Kirby mask, I think it's for the host dude. Welcome to the last attempt of this guy. One complete all trophies for a while. Sit back and enjoy the ride because we're gonna get some high level characters that I'm working on right now on this stage. So what I'm gonna do is weaken this level 170 enemy enough with my level 110 Nekamata and my Ooh, okay. My level 61 pumpkin. I will toss you into the base panel. Alright, so what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring out the Nekamata, then we're gonna use a rapid kick on him. Hopefully it doesn't kill. Yes, it doesn't it kill. Capturing is always tense because uh, yeah, capturing is always tense because uh, <clears throat> there's a good chance it might fail. Especially in a stage like this, you don't want a capture to fail. I don't think I need to touch this enemy anymore. So what I'm gonna do is toss you in the base panel. Okay, they all went for the the guy who was lifting. That's great. So what I'm gonna do is do one last wave of buffs on the pumpkin and Nekamata. Okay, we have 2,000. Yep, that's as, about as high as they'll go. So let's toss our uh, this puck into the base panel and hope for the best. Nice capture enemy, great. Okay, so. Once this episode is over, we will have a level 170 ally. We just have to finish off mid boss. Who will be done in by a couple mystic blasts. Okay, so now that that's done, we're moving on to episode 7. It's not a very involved episode. Well, actually, we are going to do one capture. So we have seven at the journey, journal entries, which means we are on track for that. So once I revive this guy right here, you will have a level 170 ally. It's always important to do the equipment transfer. Is that a dimensional cape? Oh, okay. I thought that was a high level item for some reason, but it's not. I'm thinking of the hero cape, that's what it is. Hero cape is the high level item. Dimensional cape is like garbage tier. Okay, so now that we have a high level pop, we're gonna use him and our Nekamata to wipe out most of these enemies. So the nice thing about having a pop specifically is they have this skill called camaraderie. Camaraderie is a an X-shaped AoE. Which means we can 
just kill enemies like that. Have the half finish this guy off, and then we're gonna do another capture right after this. Well, do we really need to? Hmm, I don't think we do. And I think about it. Yeah, um, I think let's just skip this capture. Normally, I capture a level. Two hundred twenty zombie for safety purposes, but I don't think we'll need to do that this time. So let's just blaze through this episode. There is one particular item that I need to get though, because uh, it is gonna help us get high enough stats. So what we're gonna do is just have the hall and our brawler retreat so that the zombies will only go after our the zombies are gonna go after only our puck so we can just beat the heck out of all the enemies with it. just him. At this point, we probably wouldn't need to heal at all. So we're just gonna park our units over here, let the enemies come to us, and then beat the crap out of them with our AoE skills. I think in hindsight, it might have been better to send out some sacrificial units so that they don't spend too many turns, too many actions attacking us. That's fine. Demon's Breath. So what I'm going to do is, uh, after this, I probably want to um, I probably want to buy a few, a Stealing Hand. So let's sell this stuff. Don't really need this stuff anymore. Especially not ABC gums and mint gums and ayakis. Oh, we do have a plunder hand, so that's good. Uh, I'll heal up just so I can work towards getting another emblem type accessory. Okay. So yes, we are gonna steal the that item because it does offer a lot of attack. It is the green zombie that I need to worry about not killing. Oh, it's sleep too, nice. Okay, nice, we stole it. So, this thing offers a lot of attack for what it is, so that'll help us in capturing our next few well, we only have one more capture left to do for story purposes. We're just looking for things that give us a high enough 
that boosts our attack as high as possible. And uh, of course, Wiener just happens to give a lot of attack, so we do want it for the purposes of this run. Okay, I'll probably kill this uh, Geo symbol, then we can deal some actual damage to this guy. Oh, that's still not enough. Probably has some really high defense then, huh? No, we don't want the camaraderie, we want the demon's breath. Oh, this would be perfect for camaraderie. Whatever. I'll wait a turn for these other guys to move. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna heal SP for this. Normally I have two extra characters to do this area, but I'm just gonna roll with just these two monsters as my mains. It's perfect for camaraderie. I just want to move this guy here so he can camaraderie this final group of enemies. Next turn. Then another camaraderie will finish them off. Okay, final stage for this episode. Pretty short one, especially since we don't have to do any capturing. in my own Nekamata. Shouldn't matter though because they will die in short order. Now that's done, I'm going to do my final capture. Oh, 
Actually, let me check if I need any. I can get anything else. Oh. I want to make sure my latest guy has the best equipment. So Mega Power Belt. Okay, it's good enough. Okay, this is the final capture that we need for story purposes. It's pretty straightforward, we just need to combine all these enemies into a level 270 Nekomava and then try to capture that. So I have, I'm able to weaken this bit on you, and then I need an extra one for lifting. Okay, I'm gonna retreat most of my guys in the base panel so we can bring out our buffers and any other units that we need to weaken this Nekamata. Let's do that. I probably won't need any buffs to start off. Well, maybe I do. I'll just lift this guy off. Alright. I'll toss you over here so Lahar can buff the both of you. Now let's attack Snegamata. Okay, 687, that's about 1200 per round. Uh, you know what? I'll boost it to a few, sure. No, never mind, can't do that anymore. I will boost at least this up. Then I'll throw you in the base panel. It's always important that you throw buff units in the base panel so that they retain their buffs. And how much does a uh, petite flare do? 162. That means I can probably do what I just did. Next round, then this Nekamata should be weakened enough for capturing. So, petite flare and uh, mystic blast. No, rapid kick. Rapid kick. I'll have to do a petite flare. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna just buff up Snekamata. Since petite flare runs on int, it's uh, not really a big deal if I boost in. I mean, attack. We're just gonna keep blasting a petite flare. Okay, need to boost up the attack of these two some more until we've reached the maximum we're able to. Two, three, four, four. Then I, I need to go petite flare. Uh, 
side. I think one more petite flare should do it. Then I will just toss it into the base panel. Okay, 9 HP, that should be good enough, right? Okay, there we go. It, it was indeed captured. Okay, so now that I've captured this one, we're gonna do the equipment transfer. I have to do this every time I capture something. Then we're gonna have our Nekamata do the promotion exams. So it is important that we do the promotion exams at this point since we're going to be able to unlock some powerful stuff. So at this point we're done. We have to freeze our progress with the story because there's no real benefit to advancing the plot right now. What I'm, I want to do is do the promotion exams until we get a uh, high enough rank that we can unlock some of the post game maps. We're just going to do this until we get to. I think. Yeah, we can pass this one, but we don't have enough mana to do it. So what I want to do is I will do this next stage with our Nekamata primarily. She needs the mana. There's little benefit to going back to a story map that we've already done since we just want mana. So it makes sense to just go for the next story map since it is kind of trivial at this point. And then the enemies are decently high enough of a level that you will get a good amount of mana from beating them this way. Okay, that should be enough mana to attempt to pass Prinny Land, so let's go do that. That's obviously going to be an A. Now we're going to pass this by force and hope we don't have any 100 plus enemies in the center lineup. Because that's going to make them a lot, take a lot longer to kill. Oh, we have a 169, damn it. Okay, well, it's not too bad since we do have a fairly high attack stuff. It's just going to take a while because this is a lot of HP we have to burn through. I think we're going to have to resort to buffing up our 200 something Nekamata. So we can actually kill off that Orangey. Oh, it's poison. That's perfect.
Okay, we're not gonna uh, be struggling too much with this then. If that's if it got poisoned. So a bunch of mystic blasts will weaken this one. There's also another high level enemy, but I don't think it's as bad as the Ringy. Okay, so we're gonna, gonna just go through the rest of the promotion exams until we unlock the ability to pass the ordeals bill. Okay, cave of ordeal, but we don't have enough mana to pass it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bit of a detour so we can get uh, better stuff so I'm gonna buy a bunch of thunder hands and ching hands then we are gonna pay a visit to Prinny land the first of the post game maps since we have a level 200 Plus Nekamata on our side, this set of maps should be trivial. This second one has a clone symbol that I need to get rid of. I want to make sure that symbol gets eliminated ASAP, otherwise we're going to have a really bad time. Okay, so as long as uh, Prinny gets cloned every turn, it should be fine. I just need one of my high level allies to not get cloned, and then we should be able to get through this map. Okay, symbol is done, that's basically the hardest part of this map out of the way. Now we can just breeze through the rest of these enemies. I'll have this top camaraderie piece. Oh, and that. Uh, I probably need to use SP healing items then. So, camaraderie this group, and then I'll Mystic Blast this one, and that should be it. So, I'm gonna have to heal SP.
Okay, so this is the last section for Prinny Land. Our main objective for coming here this early is to steal the equipment of the boss. Because uh, for this stage in the game, it, it is some very, very powerful equipment. So I have to get rid of his equipment to weaken him. So getting rid of the weapon will reduce a lot of the offensive capabilities. So only the, the next mod I can steal properly from him, that's interesting. I guess I'll just weaken him with the... Oh. Okay, got spelt stolen. Once I steal all this stuff, I will just equip all of it and then kill him. Okay, no more Pringer Beam. I can just try to steal from it. Nice, finally. Okay, so now that we have that, we also got a hero belt. I wonder how powerful that is. 333 attack, 457. So we got spelled still better. Now that we got that, we're gonna do this stage again. Because we need two sets of the uh, Rainy Gods equipment.
I don't need the platinum packs that much, so I, I, I'll be fine if I don't steal it. Okay, so now I can kill him. Okay, so that takes care of pretty land. Now we have a good amount of equipment to upgrade the attack of our party members. So you want to destroy the hero belt and uh, got spelled. Yep, that's a good amount of attack there. Okay, so now we can go proceed to pass the ordeals bill. The cave of ordeal will probably get a mostly nay, but that's fine. We'll just persuade by force so we can unlock this area. Oh, there's one really high level guy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, just use these two to hopefully survive long enough to kill everything. We have another level 100 plus enemy. I just need to focus on wiping out all the high level enemies as soon as possible. Because they are going to be a pain in the ass if we leave them, them alive for too long. We have an Orinji and a Galactic Demon. I think I want to boost the attack with the Harl and the uh, Skull. All right. Now he's going for our lower level characters, which is great. I don't think we'll be able to get them in time, though. Okay. Ordeals has been passed. I think what I'll do is I'll try to build up a combo so I can get the bonus gauge going. Because I do need a good amount of... Well, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I do need the mages to hang around for what I want to do. Okay, we have a uh, <coughs> level one. Great. Just kill this guy. Okay, killed one mage. It's okay, I think. 
What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to level all my weak mage characters via the bonus gauge experience. And by doing so, they will learn Braveheart in the process. Okay, that level 10 to 12, 18, great. Okay, so now we have a full party of, of units with no Braveheart. Yep, five units now no Braveheart, which is great. Because in this next map, I'm gonna try to attempt to capture something. So I'm gonna try to capture a level 400 Nekamata. Well, 400, 500. Uh, I think that's probably not a good idea. I wanna weaken these two. It's probably the best option. Oh, never mind. Kill them. Okay, I think I can make do when I, if I just combine these seven enemies. Oh, it's just down, now down to six enemies. No, we still have uh, seven. Do we? No, it's six. It's fine, let's just attempt to capture them. So the main danger I don't want to happen is to trigger that. I don't want to trigger the boss succubus. That's hanging out in the back because she's got a lot of HP and if I trigger her I will have to kill her because if I combine it even like a, a Nekomata that's much higher level we will get the succubus will take precedent which is not really what we want Okay, we still have a level 400 something, 460, that's okay, I think I might be, I might just use a rapid kick, okay that's fine, yep I'd rapid kick to right call. I think this is safe enough that I can try to capture this. I think the question from here on out is uh, uh, do we have a high enough attack? I think this should be good enough. Let's toss her into the base panel and hope for the best.
I would think with all the extra equipment I bothered to farm, it should have a good chance of working. Damn it. That stinks. I guess I didn't weaken it enough. Yeah, that, that was the case. So if I had done like 500 or even 400 points more damage, then that would have done it. Yeah, as long as they don't kill one of them, then I'm good. Let's see, I have to... Combine this one with this one. I just hope we don't get Mystic Blasted. But I'll just probably just lift this one. This is a precaution. So the problem with this is it'll attract the one of the Nekamatas for sure. Uh, I probably want to weaken this one too. So I'll hit it with a Mystic Blast. Okay, Demon's Breath does 903. I might just help it with some heat flares. Okay, didn't trap the Nekamata. Interesting. I'll just use this Nekamata to keep me probably. Okay, that's fine. That's what I should have done the last time. So now I have to do all this again because of that screw up. So I just uh, weaken it with uh, my level 110 Nekamata. That was the key. So I don't need these two anymore. Well, I, I'd still need to buff the attack of the max. So I will need to bring them out and have these two work on them. Instead of Mystic Blast, I'm gonna do Rapid Kick. 45. Wait, I need my pop. This one's already maxed out. Okay, there we go. Much better. I guess it also helps that I try to capture a lower level. I mean, a lower tier Nekamata. Now we're going to do our equipment transfer. Then you can have the leftovers. OK, 
Okay, um, Cave of Ordeal 3. Yeah, I'm trying to go for five brave hearts, but sometimes I forget how far I am. When you're constantly uh, putting th inputting things all the time, you're bound to forget a few things. So, I guess I'll just... Oh, don't want to boost that guy. I'm just gonna boost this Nekmok up to the max so she can kill these guys in one hit, hopefully. Alright, that worked out. We're not going to be touching this stage after this is done. Oh, we have 750. We have an EXP bonus, so we have to bring out our units so that they can get some bonus experience. Right. Perfect. Now we have a full crew of brave harters for sure. Then uh, I think I'm gonna do this step early. I will make a ninja and a scout and a ronin, a thief as well. Then we want a Ronin. That's gonna be the main unit we use to get the 10 million damage. Then I'll move my dudes that might be useful here. Do want to equip orbs onto our scout. Okay, so ordeal four, we have a level four hundred Nekamaka. I forgot. Did I do the equip her? Yeah, I did. Okay, so that's fine. So now I want to capture uh, something around level eight hundred. Which means I'm gonna kill off two of these guys and then combine the rest of them. Okay, so there's four left. I just need to combine them now. So I think what I want to do is do a couple brave hearts here, then I'll try to smack it with a, an attack. I have to be careful not to kill this guy. Oh, that's perfect. 98 HP.
guess I don't need you anymore. I'm gonna just focus on boosting up the two Nakamatas next turn, then I'll throw it in. I think they just need one more brave heart up piece. Just in case I forgot one, I'll do a, another brave heart on this one. Okay, I didn't forget. Alright, cool. Captured it. Now we can just beat up these remaining enemies. There's usually some concern on whether the remaining units have enough HP to take on these guys. Okay, got the super rich trophy. I think we'll try to get the promotion rank up. So, um, well, never mind. I think it might be better off to just pass it to some other unit. Uh, actually, what I need to do is I need to pass the strongest enemy bills. Yeah. So pass the strongest enemy bills, then we can work on another unit that probably would like to get it. So at this point, the level 270-something Nekomata is gonna be a bit obsolete so I think it makes sense to train another unit for the promotion ranks because the mana costs are gonna get a lot higher so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recruit a I'll, I'll recruit somebody a higher level enemy and then I'll work on ranking that up. So the imps are nice because they have this air assault skill that hits for four panels. The only problem is their attack growth is a bit bad. But for our purposes this is enough. We want steel belt and the testaments. I think I should heal. So we're gonna go to Cave of Ordeals 1 and try to capture a level 1500. So these guys are around 300, so I just need 5 of them alive. So 
I need to kill at least one and then I'll combine the rest. Okay, I think this is perfect. They're lined up nicely and do have a lot of HP. It is gonna suffer because they paralyzed my dude. I'm gonna mystic blast this piece too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weaken this guy and then Oh, I wish this imp wasn't paralyzed, that makes things a bit more complicated. Two brave hearts, then I'll just use an air assault. I forgot how much that did. I think what this needs is another Braveheart buff. Then I'll attack this one to see how much it does. Probably just use a rapid kick so I don't kill it. damage okay I'll just roll with this one and see hopefully we will get capture still this is gonna be fun I guess what I could do is I could I could have buffed this Nekamata up a little bit so she could do some damage. I'm pretty sure if I tried it now, with the, the other high level of characters, to, then they would just kill the target. Okay, let's try this. Okay, that's good enough for me. Alright. Let's... I think I'll do one more round of buffing. Because I don't remember how far I am. Okay, this is Max. This is Max. This is... Probably inconsequential.
Nice. I just need to wait for this paralysis to wear off. It sucks, but I need this guy to uh, kill off the rest of the enemies. Yeah, it's because I spent some time trying to adequately weaken it. So I think it was fairly quick. Now we have our next party member. We're gonna do the equipment transfer again. Then our next target is probably the Nakamata stage. So I want, what level do I have? 1450. So somewhere around the 2500s is fine. So I want to leave at least six these Nekamatas alive. So we have eight of them. I want to kill at least two. Okay, that works nicely. That, but then again, this one is now in danger of dying. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, that, that one got trapped. And that's perfectly acceptable. I think what I'll do is I'll attempt the, com the combination. I don't want to deal with that much HP, so I'll just combine them all into this one. So I want to kill at least one of them off because. Uh, they might be a bit, bit too high level to finish. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna just combine everything here to one tier one Nekamata. I just want to make sure I don't trap that succubus that's back there. It would be very bad if that happened. Okay, now we go take the steps to weaken this enemy. I think what I'll do is I'll do a brave heart. I'll do a couple brave hearts and then attack. We have paranoia. Okay, 17k and then 6k. So I think what I'll do is I'll attack with paranoia again. Hopefully I don't one shot it. Okay, 2020. I think that's acceptable range for capturing. I hope. I might try to weaken it a little bit. Let me see if I can do that. 
Okay, 872. I think that was the right call. Uh, yeah, let's go. I want to toss this in in the base panel not the imp, the mushroom yeah well we also have an exp boost thing which is nice okay let's toss it in and hope for the best i kind of want to bring out my um bro my scout for exp purposes Okay, cool. Capture. All right. So now that that's captured, our RNG is kind of weak, so we have to make sure that adequately uh, weaken the enemies I can kill the enemies this one has to have a lot of HP so that's a bit of a concern okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift from the Sophocles. That's probably the right call. Yeah, I'll just do the lifting strats on this Sophocles and then that should be it. Should be able to kill her. Yeah, I think I just sacrifice the rogue. Main scout. The most important one to keep alive is the Ronin. Since the Ronin is going to be our main unit that we work on. So we're going to do the equipment transfer again. Then the next one we can capture a level 4,000-ish imp. Oh wait, wrong stage. I want to capture a level 4,000 something imp. Okay, 2640. I might be able to capture a 5,000. Okay, did not get poison. It's awesome. I will try to kill one of these guys before I do the com combination. So that's done. 
I just need to combine them all now. So we're gonna have a level 5000 something. Oh, 5450. That might be a bit too high for our purposes. Do I want to commit to this? I wonder. It might be a bit too dangerous to try to capture. So I'm gonna fail on that. I would be a lot more confident if I had upgraded my shop ranks, but I haven't. So we're gonna have to just redo this. So I just need four alive, just four. So if I can get four of them to survive, then we'll be in business. I think that one's likely to die. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to combine... I'm going to combine them, and then I'll... I'm gonna toss this guy into this guy, so we have two separate units to weaken before I will combine them. Alright, so that's done. Now I can combine the rest of them. So, here we go. We're gonna get a brave heart on these two. Mystic Plus, see how much this does. Okay, 2k. And Paranoia, how much does that do? 10k. Okay, I'm gonna need to... I think I'll use this guy to weaken him. The brave heart. I probably need to do a couple brave hearts before I do anything, any noticeable damage. So, 8k. I need an attack based move. That's, that's zero. I guess I will have to use um, aerosol for this. So the main concern is after I capture this guy, I have still have to deal with the remaining enemies. Actually, no, we're gonna use Braveheart over here. Do an air assault. Damn, it still does zero. Okay, I guess I'll have to buff the attack a little bit further. I don't think we're gonna be able to capture this guy like this. But I do need to weaken him just a teeny tiny bit. Let's 
still zero. Damn it. Yeah, that's the problem with the, using an imp as uh, an attacker. Their attack just too low. Okay, finally doing something. I have one more attempt at this. Okay. I guess that's about all I can do, really. Hopefully, this will work. Okay. That was short. See, this is the problem I'm running into. Well, never mind. They have a good amount of HP. That's perfectly fine. Okay, there's one more capture I need to do before I'm done with this squid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this imp to do the promotion exams. So once I do the promotion exam, I'm going to do my last capture for this split.
So the last capture requires me to capture a level 7,000 to 8,000 enemy. Then after that, we're gonna go recruit the post-game characters. Oh, by the way, the I did pretty land way earlier than I normally do, so that's why it looks like I'm ahead. Because I just did a step ahead much earlier than what I normally do at that. Yeah, I think one more, then we can try to capture that one monster. I think it's better to just stop here because we are dealing with some pretty high level enemies now. I'm gonna pass the kill by force. Then I'll hold off. I will hold off on trying to pass the next few promotion ranks until I finish my last capture. Just so I don't have to fight a bunch of really high level enemies for the last few promotion exams. Okay, 500 kills. to do my final capture because I need to heal. So for this capture, I specifically want a Dullahan. I have to get a Dullahan because they're the ones with the most attack. Well, they've got some pretty high firepower. So it would be worthwhile to have them in my to have it as like my main attacker for these upcoming bosses. So I think I want at least one dead so I can attempt to capture. Oh, I don't want to attack him anymore. Definitely will kill him.
Okay, so now we can start buffing. Ah, maybe I should have captured another one. Never mind. Maybe I could have been fine if I left them alone. However, it's kind of too late now. And this should be easier to capture. So, it's not too big of a loss. Okay, so that's about 45k. I think I'll do one round of Grave Hearts before I attack again. Okay, I think what I need to do is rapid kick next turn. Just gonna do a rapid kick so I don't kill it. I think I'm done with the imp. Stinks. Yeah, I definitely need to attract that other Dolahan. I just hope they survive. Okay, cool.
hope this doesn't kill. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Now I'm gonna throw the imp into the base panel and the Ekamata as well. I just need one more round of buffs probably to get this group strong enough to attempt to capture. I really lose that much time on the captures. Jeez, that's a something. Okay, that was kind of scary, but we did survive with the uh, with our target captured. That should be the last capture split I need. Well, until we get to the false castle. So that's done. I'm gonna need to map up the shop tank. Shop rank has been maxed. Now I just need to go after the extra bosses. Oh, that's right. I need to weaken the enemies first. So the weakest enemies need to be passed so I can actually take care of them appropriately. And then I have to promote two more times. I have to promote two more times so I can pass the the bill. I have enough uh, influence to try to pass the beauty castle bill. So that's what I'm gonna go to next. The beauty castle bill is the the bill that unlocks Marjorie's area, and that's where I need to go. Okay, we just need an influence of 5,000. This is why we wanted to reach the max promotion rank because uh, it's very hard to get over 5,000 influence. Okay, here we go, 5,000 influence. Almost unanimous nay. It's fine, we're gonna pass this by force.
So it's gonna look like we're gonna gain a lot of time back again because Margulies stage is pretty short. I did lose some time in the capturing segment though because the attempts were a bit sloppy. I wasn't as like uh, reckless with the capturing as last time I think so that's where that time loss comes from. But I just need to beat these guys up and uh, Hopefully pass the... Hopefully this should be the last long bill that I need to pass. Level 600 enemies here. Okay, done, done, and done. I just have to make a beeline for Marjorie. Also, I should pass the most expensive stuff bill. Actually, what I can do is save that. Until, well, no, I kind of need it for. No, never mind. What am I saying? I'll just pass it to Laharl. Blade Frenzy is a really, really strong attack. That's why I want the Dola Hand instead of the Imp. Alright, that's done. Let's go fight Marjorie. I probably should equip the stuff onto. I go ahead now that I think about it, that's why he's not doing as much damage as I would like him to. Okay, so does the Infernal Armor actually give attack at all? It gives a little bit, not that much. Okay.
I'm gonna bring out my brave parkers and then I do need the imp alive, so I'm not gonna risk it anymore and just do the lift strategies to beat Marjorie. Blade Frenzy you, so get you out of the way. And we're just gonna do the lift strats on Marjorie. Braveheart. At this point, I'll just resort to lifting. Not even gonna bother boosting anymore. need to pass the most expensive stuff and then we can use uh, Marjorie to I'll just use Marjorie to take care of these enemies So this is why we get Marjorie before Prie, because uh, we want somebody who can uh, clear these um, these stages with fodder enemies quickly. And Marjorie does have pretty huge AoE attacks. So she's perfect for what we want to do here.
stage is just solo largely. Pretty straightforward. This is where our dollar hand comes into play. Now I know most of the buffers are going to die but it doesn't really matter. I just need to get rid of these two minions as soon as possible. Because I don't want that to happen. Okay, so now that we have both Priya and Marjorie, let's swap equipment. We need her Nyanko Soul. And we also need the uh, Claudius Beauty and Arcadia. Now I'm going to need to boost up the enemy strength a little bit. I need to boost it three times. So we need to boost the enemy strength by 3 so we can capture level 9999 enemies. Once we have those, we can take on the <coughs> toughest bosses in the game.
Okay, they're all in the front row. That's nice. Now we are in business. Let's go visit Paul Castle. I think they're weakened enough, so I need to capture a cert specifically. That's got the higher stats. I think at this point using the dollar hand is probably not a good idea so I just need to use just the int to weaken our target So you just need to blast this guy two more times, maybe maybe once. It's definitely a lot riskier if I try to do it again with this max attack. Okay, that should do. I think I'll blast it one more time before I throw it in. No, that's probably a bad idea. I think I'll try a weaker attack. I'll pepper. Fuck me!
Okay, we're done with the dough hand. I just need to have the imp weaken this guy now. Okay, I think I'll leave him out in the open and then do another air assault. That should be sufficient. Are you serious? Twice in a row? Fuck this. I should just toss it in when it's at like 20k HP. Uh. And I gotta do this three more times after this one. Ah, one of them died. I don't want that because I need all of them alive. Okay, I, I just need to not get too cautious. I'll just go for it. Broke here. God damn it, please stop killing yourselves. Okay, I'll just end my turn here and then let's see if, how much they'll tap themselves. Okay, that guy's pretty weakened. Alright, definitely weakened that one accordingly. Okay, once we get the first one, it, the rest is pretty simple. Just need to get that first one. Yeah, I'm just gonna have the stats lower and then I'll smack it once. Okay, that's good enough for me. Let's toss you in the base panel.
Finally, yes. Okay. From here on out, the capturing should get a lot easier. So I need Claudius Beauty, Guts Belt. Then you can have loose of course, and then all this other attack stuff that I'm not going to use. Alright, should be a lot easier to capture these guys going forward. I can be a bit... I can play it a bit safe. No, I mean safe, reckless. I can be a lot more reckless with the HP values. I think that should be good enough. I'll just max attack and toss this guy in the base panel, and that should be it. Easy peasy, especially with the exact unit that I'm trying to capture. Just have to do this two more times and I'm in the clear. Good enough for me. Let's go capture this guy.
All right. One more. Okay, we're definitely not touching this guy again. Okay, that's done. Now I just need to weaken the enemy strength and then pass by a few stealing hands and we'll be ready to fight the ball. We're all set to fight the ball. So first and foremost, we gotta steal his equipment. If I take more than one turn to steal all his stuff, then I have to reset. Okay, that's a reset. I have to steal all the equipment in one turn, otherwise we might uh, take a while. Actually, it, it might get out of hand. Okay, Nemesis is stolen. That's a good to start. Under hand, Super Rubble Suit. Nice. Two for two. Now we can bring out our buffers and. Also, imperative to this, we have equip. Uh, 
the robo suit. Okay, let's go. I want to make sure to boost to leave one unit alone so I can have somebody to lift all with. going back so now I'm gonna do the diabolic burst I want to make sure to get them all queued up so I can get the extra damage boost Now we're gonna do this again. Should be almost dead. Okay, just two more rounds and we should fall. Then after that we can just beat him up, hit him once, and then that's it. Okay, Super Overlord Ball has been defeated. So now we're going to buy a lot of healing hands. For this next part we are going to need them. To rearrange our party at this point, we're gonna have our scout move the top of the party, and yes, he's equipped with the orbs. Okay, so now we're gonna fight Pretty Ball. So, the thing with Pretty Ball is this counts as a refight, so what that means is you can use Geo Change in this map. 
since we can use geo change on this map, we can reroll until we get a damage 20% effect, and that will allow us to survive this fight very easily. Oh shit, there are clones. Um, that's not good for us. So we're gonna have to get rid of those clones. Okay, down to 20% clone. Okay, it's still fine if we have the damage 20% effect. It's still fine with a clone effect. Because as long as we have the damage 20%, this is all okay. It's just that this might take a little bit longer than I anticipated. But I, I want to toss the clone symbols. I gotta find it first. There's the clone. I wanna toss it. Okay, I'm gonna toss it to a. Uh... I'm gonna toss this. To a blue tile and try to get rid of it from there. Okay, we're essentially going to have to deal with this until they all die off. Come on, I just need you to end up in a damage 20%. That's all I need you to do. Okay, finally. That first one was a little iffy, but at least we got it. And I also do want to make sure we get damage 20% for the first couple ones, because it's going to take a long time to kill him if we get anything else. So ideally, we want damage 20%. Or invincibility, but damage twenty percent is much more preferred, just because it'll allow us to kill him a lot quicker. So unfortunately, this part is RNG, and there's not much we can do to make it quicker. I do want to beat this fight four times, so I can get.
four sets of his equipment. And the reason for that is because uh, four seems like the best amount of uh, of uh, weapons. The weapon is really what we want. Since we have four certs that we're using, we want to equip each one of them with a Nemesis Mark II, which is already leveled up. What is this? Evade? No. That's it. No other effects. Well, that stinks. I have to go make sure I get the damage 20%. That's all that really matters right now. Probably 20%. That ain't gonna help me. Okay. Uh, none of them seem very useful. I'm looking for stray geo symbols that might not be on a geo panel. Okay, clone warp invincibility. Yuck. No, thank you. The only reason I accepted that first one was because it had a uh, damage 20 percent but that one didn't i like damage 20 percent it's not something that we really want to see either HL 50%. So, um, invincibility. I might be able to work with this. So the attack 50% is going to help us. Okay, you can kill him. It'll just take a while. The attack plus 50% will help. Make this a lot quicker. So that's a million every turn. It's got about 6 million after we steal the equipment. This also means if we kill him this way, we won't need to worry about need to actually directly kill him for the the, um, the trophy not the EX boss's trophy because uh, it's not going to count towards that award if we he's not going to get recorded in the EX boss's entry if we don't kill him directly Enemy boost, enemy boost, clone. 
I don't see any good coming out of this one. This attack minus 50%, silence warp, nothing good. Allied damage clone, yuck. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Lord of Terror, we're gonna beat you. At this point, I will take invincibility. Either damage twenty percent or invincibility. Attacks plus one. Attacks plus one isn't gonna help us too much because we still have to weather balls attacks. We ain't gonna be doing. That doesn't invincibility. Let's do this. Always want to steer from them because otherwise HP is going to be too high. Okay, so it does 3 0. Just about 1 third of a million, about 10 uh, percent. Sense. More round should do it. The recovery twenty percent of my need. Here we go, damage twenty percent. Let's do this. I'll toss him into this area so he can move. A rare amount of hot three. Okay, 
Now I'm done with pretty ball. So I put the stuff. This might well pass the shoe bill. A lot less effort to pass. Since the hall now has a retired rival. But I want to save anything that has an arms mastering. Let's put that in the stash. Then I want to fill up my inventory with my inventory with um, stealing hands and also buy some shoes in the process. Save, I haven't saved in a while, might as well save now. Okay, so now we're gonna level up this robo suit. And we wanna make we wanna look around for a legendary belt and I want to look around for a legendary belt and a um, accelerators. So um, <clears throat> right now the item world is going to be very slow because I don't have a lot of good um, movement equipment, but that's going to change once I steal some accelerators since each one of those gets free movement. Shaolin belt, I could probably take that one.
Raiders, of course, they would counterattack. I'm gonna kill this red skull because I don't want him at the bottom. I'd rather have Laharo. Oh, there's a legendary accelerator. Nice. I need to steal that. Okay, good. Oh shit. Ah, that stinks. Okay, well, we're not gonna get the hyperdrive this time. Uh, what I could do is I could go into Arcadia instead. Yeah, that'll be an alternative. So, I need to make sure I don't do that again. There's a bravery belt. Probably it's, it's not that good of a belt, but I'll take it anyways just in front of all that. the first time I've fucked up like that. So you're not supposed to exit the floor at all if you enter the item, otherwise you're you will basically forfeit the hyperdrive. And we do need the hyperdrive to make things a lot easier here. Just don't exit the item. I'm just glad I did it early. Because if I did it so late, so deep in the item, then that would have been a huge problem. Okay, so 
select no. So from here on out, we're just on a quest to reach to our 100 in this item. I'm just gonna kill off the item god too and get the hyperdrive in the process, hopefully. I'm just hoping the Arcadia is indeed a uh, ramp for the item. Because if not, then we do have some problems. But then again, it might will take out the need to get it out. More accelerators. Oh, it is so far off. Until I can get some accelerators. So in this initial trip is going to be very slow. Once we get a full set of accelerators, then things will start speeding up quite a bit. Until then, I'm just going to have to keep going for every single enemy until I find enough accelerators. Let's go, let's go. Should be close to the 10th floor now. Oh, uh, I can just reach that by throwing. Doesn't look like we can reach. I do want to. Well, probably not worth it. Stats that we get aren't that high if we actually manage to kill the gatekeeper. Definitely floors like this where the hyper drive will come in handy. So I'm looking forward to getting the hyper drive for the final time. Final time being the second fifth time I'll have done that on this version on this game or the complete version. Okay, the thing to know with Icon World is uh, the gate is always going to be on the same island as the base panel. So if you see a floor with multiple islands, you can just safely ignore those. You're just looking for the gate. I 
stole my I stole a legendary belt already, so I did that. Just have to steal a set of bell rakers. I do see a champion belt, which is the best belt I can get. Ideally, the best thing you can do is steal a legendary champion belt. That's basically wishful thinking. Hey, that's a trophy for I can be killed. Those are legendary belt. So, I kill them all. Yeah, I killed them. It's fine. I also want to clear out the whole floor. If I'm on the 10th floor. Because I want to get a Gen C exit. Which you can only get if you clear out the whole floor. Oh god, blown. But stinks. Oh god, that's the worse. Yeah, we're not. We're not gonna do that. Not worth it. I at least killed the item king, so there's that. There's an accelerator. Just need to steal that sucker. Oh, there. And warp, damn it. Alright. This golem has an accelerator. I guess I could also put the robo suit.
accelerator. What is up with this run and the item general, item boss of the island? So lame. Oh, we have damage files too. Lovely. I'm gonna need a thief. But I wanna steal that legendary accelerator from the ninja. Three more. That's an accelerator for the dragon has it. I hate that song. The Miss Steel. Of course, they might have been under attack first. There's another accelerator. Finally stole one. Just need two more to be the full set. a rare one. Okay, at least they're using skills to attack. 
not a regular attack. That's when you get countered. Since we have the rubble suit equipped, that's essentially the same as having another accelerator. I do kind of want one more though. Okay, it should be the last one I need. I think this zip through force and broke the exit. I don't need to check anything else. So we are gonna save a lot of time by virtue of just not checking anything. Let's just hold the symbol and move on. Not a lot of things here. Oh, of course, you are an invincibility. Oh, let me just get you off this.
This is an island for the ship to explore. Yeah, that's three times already I've had the item boss be on an island. It's not the same as the base panel. Very unfortunate. Alright, let's see here. That should be the seventh guild floor. I just passed. I have to leave eight guild floors coming up here. So that means two more times I need to properly select the correct prompt. This is unfortunate since it means we're not going to have a lot of defense in this. I just hope the item god 2 doesn't end up on an island as well. One extra space. There's four enemies. Cool. I can take four enemies. So I'm home free, I just get the tenth floor of this set and uh, we'll reach that item god 2.
just need a little bit more space. That's so, should be getting close to the final floor. Let's see if we can go play some type of god too, or an item god. Alright. At least indeed item god too. Facing. Just eat it up, like I said, eat up your eggs, and then it should be fine. I'm in a convenient spot that I can just kill the Arctic Dog too and then jump the outside and get that double kill bonus. It's apparently present in this version. And I could probably just go back and then kill the Arctic Dog too for more stuff. That should kind of make up for having like a crappy belt. And I'm gonna be leveling. Hyper drive. Now that we have the hyperdrive in our possession, we will go ahead and beat for deals 5. So I want to steal a um, 31 rarity 0. Oh, I definitely want to get a rarity 0 now.
by a rarity zero apocalypse from the boss from one of the bosses here. So this stage has the boss possessing an apocalypse as as in the game. This is what we're gonna be leveling. And I do want this to be a rarity zero because then that'll offer a rarity matching bonus. Oh, how annoying. Uh oh, shit. Okay, well, I think we only counted one. Yeah, I'm all, I'm going for rarity zero because uh, my stuff just happens to be rarity zero. I wouldn't be going for that particular rarity otherwise. I'm basically just going for the one that matches most of the equipment that I'm trying to level. Just so happens to be rarity zero. Normally I would be a, a lot more flexible, but it just so happens that two of the items that I'm going to be leveling are rarity zero. So yeah, um, it is kind of necessary, especially since one of the items I level was in Arcadia, which is the best stat wise. I need a rarity zero, damn it. I have a legendary belt that's rarity zero, and then the robo suit that I'm gonna be leveling at some point is also rarity zero. So, obviously, I do need the apocalypse to be rarity zero to match that. This doesn't take too long. This is gonna be a problem if I ever get rid of this hero. One, damn it. I think I've seen every rarity but two, seven, and zero. Six. 
six. Okay, there's a rarity zero. Now we can just kill this enemy and then move on with our lives. Alright. Now we have our rarity zero axe. We're gonna save. Oh, I do want to combine Innocent and this one before I move on. This axe is the main weapon that we're going to be using. Obviously, because it's got the best attack. It offers the best attack of the game. We do want to take extra steps to make sure this axe is as high as an attack as possible. the wrong dude. I think I'm gonna need to configure my party. I just move my characters up the uh, ones with better throw our towards the bottom for easier access.
I gotta fix my items so that the super robot food is on top. Okay, so when I reach the 30th floor, I'm gonna do the double kill thing on the item god. I mean, not the item god, the item king. So, item king does need to be double killed because it does give a decent amount of stats. So I'm gonna, just going to do that with the item king and hopefully the item god too. The item generals are not really worth double killing because of the, the gen C's. I do need gen C's to farm statisticians and farm masters. So I, I only have really a couple things I want to do in the item world, which is to level up four items to a hundred, and then farm statisticians and arms masters. I might steal that god spell. In case it's something better. It's doubtful. Okay, he's better. But then I use the rarity bonus. I mean, well, it's still it's gonna match with those bubbles too. Maybe the thing that matters. So instead of the bravery belt, I could just fill up the dot spell instead, which does give more stats. This is going to be the 
for the PS4. So I don't really do any stash of stuff here on the floor. Alright, whenever I get the floor with this much things clearing our way, we're just gonna do this. It's basically a two turn here. So move the guy with the hybrid drive over to the gatekeeper, kill it, and then next turn you just take off the hybrid drive and then move to the um, short floor. All in all, I'll have to do this a couple more times. So, 400 floors total. So, I've already done for the Arcadia, which was probably a mistake that I screwed up for the Robo Suit. So, I had to find on a tunnel currently. I definitely want to get the Hyperdrive on the first rank 40 item I. Go in. I think I should have done the crowd yes beauty instead of crack I did. I in my haste I kind of forgot that Claudius beauty had more tap than the Arcadia did. Okay, I see a black belt. I'll steal that one. Black belt slightly better. Spirit said. I'm only checking for items on the tenth floors because I want to know where all the other enemies are. It's not really worth trying to look for most of it. Look for a better upgrade to the belt. In any other circumstance. King. I'll just kill the item king and then can see out for the double four bonus.
thousand kills. Okay, so those big stuff which I thought you wanna see. So that does confirm that indeed double kills do work in this game. The double killing is really nice because it at least uh, looks like it's about a 10% staff boost. It's pretty hefty. I do want to work on my Ronin after this because uh, I gotta get her up to speed so she can. Start doing the big damage. Once you get the apocalypse leveled up, finally time to start work on the main character that you'll be using to get the 10 million damage trophy. That's basically the main reason why we're even doing all this item rolling to begin with. And we're basically not gonna take our attack to sky high levels. We're gonna just do the bare minimum so we can hit 10 million damage. Okay, I'm gonna kill these two and this dragon. I don't want to hit any geo symbols though, because the explosion animation does take some time to finish. It looks like we have a stray on an island. I'm gonna hard have to drive to hot over and kill them. So later on, when we start work on our Ronin, she's going to be the one who will get the hyperdrive instead of the two certs. Looks like this is a pretty busy floor. Lots of enemies and obstacles, so I have to the unequipped strategy. That definitely doesn't matter. I can reach that with the movement I have.
coming up is the 90th so I do need to exit after I kill the Ivory King. Then hopefully we get some islands so we can kill double kill the Ivory God too. This is going to be the floor. Not that many enemies here, we'll just go down to the king and then get out of here for the extra staff. Alright, let's go. Just a few more floors and we'll place the item down too. Hey Nello, how's it going? Okay, um, this is a situation where I gotta use the hyper drive. So, pretty good. I should be able to. At least get under nine hours for this one. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. That could be a problem. Oh, there's way more stuff here than I originally thought. So, it's gonna be a situation where we'll just do the the thing with the hyperdrive. We'll equip it and unequip it. Let's go. Alright, I can got two. Are there any islands? Okay. Um, this is not an island. That's quite a problem. So, what I want to do is I want to steal this apocalypse so it can happen. Using any skills on against me, and then we'll just gang up on him until he's dead. Oh, we got a warp effect. That's gonna be problematic. Okay, so this guy has 10 million HP, and we're we're just gonna. Just keep attacking him until he falls.
So the boss is basically like the last obstacle. Oh, that's right. Mm. All right. We got rid of all the other effects before. I think we have a problem. We should get rid of this part in fact. We haven't really done too much damage on it either. Probably because of the invincibility. I think what we'll do is I'll leave it like this. This uh, magic knight is gonna wail on my one unit that's over there, and then the rest. The other three is gonna just beat up on Ivan Dogs too. This guy does have the highest HP in the game, so it's gonna take a while. Then we get to do it again. Doing at least a million per round. It's good. I want to see. Okay, killed one of my guys. It's fine. Should be dead in one more round. Now we get to do this again so we can kill off the. We get that big stuff again. So now what we're going to do is do this again, but this time we're going to kill everything on the floor. We just need to not go to the exit. That's the only thing. That's the only way we can mess this up. Should be back this turn. Nice. Pretty substantial F boost here. Okay, I think it's about time we put our roaming pump to the lineup. And then I think I'll give her the hyper drive. So this is the point where we're gonna use these fancy eggs that we've acquired and try to subdue some specialists. 
want to look for arms masters and standard traditions. Right now, top priority goes to getting arms masters. I mean, suspicions, because they're the ones that increase how much experience you get. So I'm just looking for anything around the high 30s and low 40s range. Or uh, an item with a statistician by itself. Some items worth here. Now I have to go where I have to go and try to sink through them. I do have a staff station right off the bat. So this portion is why the next split is, seems to take a while. Because I'm going to spend most of it trying to subdue these, these properties. Yeah, it's in English because uh, this is the European version that I'm playing. Which is actually in English. Arms Master, perfect. Yep, I've got every single version of this game. It's uh, I've got Japanese, European, US, Korean, and Chi um, Chinese. I was just doing those uh, other foreign versions to get them out of the way. That's kind of like a testing ground to uh, prepare myself for this version. I do want to like record this and a clean run and put this on YouTube. I guess you could say that. They were also pretty cheap, so it's not too bad. They weren't super expensive. Okay, we gotta go exit. Which is rather far away. Not getting very good RNG here. I want the camera to pan over and the and like a highlight a specific unit. And it's just not spawning. Oh yeah, I should be working on this unit. Yeah, I made a mistake. I should be using this unit to beat up things. Yep, still not so good. 
Well, at least I can do this until it shows up. If I don't see it, I'm just gonna back out and then go back in until it forms. It's unfortunate. It's always bad luck when you have to go through and force and that doesn't happen. That's the event that I want. So it's a matter of killing it and then getting out. I think I need to buy more items that has that efficiency to them. It's tough getting a good one though, or oh, just a good one. Arms Master by itself is always welcome. And I need to be on that one. Okay, I gotta think about have arms master with two other things. I just wanna get statisticians. Oh, there's an arms master fifteen, that's too low. It's not worth it then seeing. Focus on the statisticians more because I need more things that give me experience. Okay, there we go. Then I kill this guy and then get out. You <coughs> kill this, it goes. Uh, if you kill this thing, the value in the item doubles and then you can move it around. Cross items. So what that means is I can move the statistician that's now worth 72 and uh, I can get an extra 72% 72 experience. We can get there. We go. That one seat that has to be our statistician. Let's kill it and get out of here. Right off the bat, we got arms and stuff. If I have a other things I guess I can do for the now. I'm gonna work on statisticians. That's one by itself. It's perfect. I can put one. Okay, here we go. 
That's what I want to see. Lock up these places for the target shows up to the first floor. This is how we get. This is how we'll set up our power leveling. There will just essentially capture stack sufficient until we can get enough to have the amount to go through 900. Okay, so that's sufficient, cool. So there's a 35. That's a gangster. Uh -huh. That's issue. Gangster is like as as status prevention thing, and we don't really care about that. And that's our last skin. I have to procure one warehouse. Yeah. On something. our last gen C for now, so I'm gonna get the statistician from this item, which I found immediately, so that's our last gen C we have in our inventory, we're just gonna combine these statisticians and arms masters that we have currently. Should be a good amount. Seven hundred six. That's efficient. We're almost not talking those. I just need three more like that and I'll have a map of stuff station. Ooh, a double. Arms Master and Statistician is really good. Alright, so now we're gonna go level up our belt. Block belt is what we're gonna do. Got the highest attack. At this point, we're just going to use the Ronin to clear out these enemies. Because, uh, she does need the 
weapon mastery be worked on, and she gets weapon mastery by hitting things. So the more she hits things, the higher the weapon mastery goes up. And then I need to get her axe weapon mastery specifically to around 15, was it? So we can get the Um, what is it? Graviton Flare. Graviton Flare is the single strongest. It's the strongest single target attack in the game. And since we need to do 10 million damage, we're obviously gonna need that skill. And once we unlock that skill, we'll just use it repeatedly to power it up. Because the more you use a skill, the better the damage multiplier becomes. Oh, we have a golden globally. Well, hey, that's not too bad. Level 6 X Mastery. I just want to get, well, I think when I get to the 50th floor, I'll try and get some more arms masters, because I could use quite a few, but she's not getting weapon mastery as fast as I would like to. Once you get uh, 1900 arms masters, which is the maximum you can get. You'll start really leveling that up. Although I guess at this point I probably would, would unlock grab on player at by the time I reach 450, so it's kind of iffy. A lot of uh, a lot of guides I've seen on the net kind of uh, overestimate how much attack you need to actually get 10 million. So the magic number we're kind of looking for is 1.4 million. That's probably the minimum that we'll try to get here. That's essentially the bare minimum. Attack. I've seen some guides suggest something like 3.5 million, which is gonna take a while to get. And for obviously for a speedrun, we don't want that. Some people go as high as about 5 million, which is way excessive. The bare minimum is 1.4. You could push it lower, but it would require some 
seriously lucky RNG to do so. So um, I will say for 1.4 million is probably the bare minimum. In fact, if we want to reach without having to resort to without having to rely on RNG events to go your way. Once we get Graviton Flare unlocked on this Ronin, we're going to be spamming the hell out of it. Uh, just to, probably the single most important skill that we can use for this run. Because we have them. There is a trophy to get 10 million damage. Which is by far the most time consuming trophy in the whole game. Everything that we're doing. From now up until the end is solely to work towards that trophy. So what I need to do is I need to buy some fairy dust because we got poison and we want to make sure we can get through the force without stopping. I'm going to take a little detour and grab a fairy dust. Okay, in the meantime I'll also look for arms masters. There's not one but it's got two other things but it. I'll just buy one more fairy dust. There's an arms master. I'll take that just in case. I don't really like it because there's two other things with it. Sustition, 32. Would be enough. I'll just buy that in case I don't have enough. I did the statisticians already. You know what? I'll grab some arms masters. Since I already have three gen C's to work with. What is this? Is the arms master? I just need a statistician now from this item. Is that the statistician? Yep. Nice. Very good item. We might be getting really close to maxing out from the statisticians. So after that it, it'll just be mostly focusing on arms masters. So what is this guy? Could be a statistician. Yep, it is a statistician. Century, not three one. I'll just take that one to narrow down the choices. Okay, there's our statistician. No, oh wait, not statistician, arms master. So we're out of gensies now. I'm gonna combine these into the Arcadia. I should have gotten a good amount of arms masters in this trip. Which means I can... Okay, 
a lot more work on the map screen. Eight cents is six cents to buy food. Now we should have a much better shot at getting to uh, what is it? Axe Mastery 20. It's either 15 or 20. Okay. We're Axe Mastery level 10, and Violent Storm has unlocked. The skill that we're after is Graviton Flare. When we get Graviton Flare, that's what we're going to be spamming for most of the game. Because Graviton Flare, like I said before, it, it is the skill to use for a million damage. It's kind of far off. I might need some ground cover more ground. Right, let's go. It's also nice that we're working on this rather weak item instead of our rank 40 item, because that means the rowing can actually kill things. Except the item general is on an island, we're gonna have to work over to get it. I don't know exactly how many tiles I need to get to a given floor, but so I'm just kind of guesstimating how many tiles the exit is to the base panel. If I think that 
it's more than 15 miles away, then I'll just bring out some of them and throw my 15 move guy towards the exit so that I have a much better chance of getting there. Right on the money on that one. I think it's at least one first throw. Okay, a lot of enemies here. We're just gonna kill them off with our AOE. I think the next set of 10 floors I'm gonna build like, farms and farms masters. So I really do need to get started on the process of leveling up private on player as soon as possible. Ideally I want the skill to reach around the level. 19 to 20 by the time we get close to finishing all the other steps leading up to the 10 million damage. Really, worst case scenario where every file gets destroyed. That's not what we want, but we're not going to clear the floor anyways to get the bonus. That's just going to move on. here. Oh, damage from percent computers. Now we do have to get into Overlord's Castle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell some stuff and then I'll try to buy some stuff that has time masters in it. 
There's one by itself. Let me try to get some arms masters now. Is this what I'm looking for, or is this a gladiator? Hey, okay, arms master, cool. Our arms master just can't kill it. If the floor is right there, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gatekeeper, I'm just gonna exit. That's the standard protocol that I follow when trying to traverse an item in my main objectives, just looking for certain specialists. They're called specialists in the sky of one, but Every other game they're called Innocents, that's because that's what they're originally called in the Japanese version. So I guess they just literally translated that part. It is kind of interesting how they kept the specialist for all translations of Sky 1 though. Our final specialist that has to be our arms master. Captured and get out of here. That's a very short floor. This guy. Arms Master, nice. One out of three chance to be Arms Master. Arms Master amount is 702 now. Okay, we have grab one bomb. 
That's what it's called, not Graviton Flare. Graviton Bomb. Now that we have unlocked this skill, we're gonna spam the hell out of it. Start again. Every time we run into something, every floor we're gonna use Graviton Bomb at least once. That's how we're gonna power up this particular skill. You can now see just how much damage we were able to do with this spamming graviton bomb. Before we were hitting somewhere around uh, 90k, now we can hit for 100k. That's just the perk of using a skill. Stop the bonus big. So that's really the big damage because uh, the enemy's fire weak they will take a lot more damage from the bomb bomb. Second half a lot more things. Next one, we'll kill this guy and drop the bomb, then we'll do the bomb. Pretty much what we're gonna be doing most of this course. Kill the drop the bomb, move on. That's how we level up items in this game.
definitely won't spend any time with the crow. Also, just getting bigger and bigger. You can't really tell it. All right. Are we at the 100 score yet? Pretty close. Two more. Oh, wow. Well, I'll be driving to my car. I just need to make sure I don't select uh, a line. Drive. I want to drive on the common hallway. That's I'm forty percent is gonna happen. Yep. Sure did. Okay, defeated item god. Now I do no longer need to worry about the item god anymore. Now we're gonna use this as an opportunity to get more arms masters. This one also has a statistician as a bonus, so we can just grab both and then we can max out our statistician process. The addition of Calamity Drive to the skill lineup means it's an extra menu we need to do. But it should be fine. Okay, I gotta get both of whatever. I gotta get all the remaining specialists in this item before I move on. 3 for 3.
So what is this guy? This is, let's see, this on master four. Exactly what I'm looking for. Arms Master, cool. Graviton Bomb. Arms Master is good to go. I have three stuff that you can put in. Tell our statistician we're halfway through the arms masters. Now I'm gonna get rid of some of this extra stuff here. I'm not gonna sell the Amano haha security because that's uh, probably the best sword that I have, and we do need a sword at some point. No longer do I need statisticians, I just need armed masters. Okay, it looks like I need to buy some stuff that has arms masters in it. Thirty nine by itself points. Ooh, a 42 by itself. Pretty good RNG here. Forty one arms master. Thirty nine. And a manager as well will help us hard grinding. At this point, I can probably just zoom through the high I know what the arms master looks like. See it? I would take that, but it's good for other things. Yeah, I'll just take that. I don't see any others. The only thing that sucks is having to do a double take to go past it. Okay, oh, arms master by itself. I will happily take that. Okay, double amnesia. I can work with that. Okay, right now it's kind of irrelevant because we don't have any things to exit. So this is going to be our quest to level up this item and uh, grab some gems as well. These guys are blocking the way, so I gotta get rid of them. Then we're gonna move on.
Okay, so this is the final item that I need to level. And that means once I'm done with this, I'm just gonna go to the story now. So I'm gonna do something different for this item. I'm gonna check, do like a quick assessment on how many enemies I think are on this floor. If I don't think there are that many, then I'm just gonna kill the enemies. If I do think there are a considerable amount, I will just move on. I do. I will still kill the item boss though. Because the stat gains are pretty significant. Well, they're not that significant, but they're not insignificant either. Yeah, you can see the damage go up before we were doing about 200k, but now we're doing. We can do up to 300k. That's probably because she does have a level item equipped to boost the attack stat further. But still, all this grinding that in between that we're doing is going to help out in the long run. It's going to help us get enough attack to do the 10 million damage. Okay, getting close to 430. Fairly crowded floor. I might be able to work with this though. I just need one of these enemies to group up. Hey, Linka. Oh, oh. Sounds like a Saturday, all right. I know what I'm gonna do after this run is definitely eat dinner. This floor looks kind of crowded, so I'm just going to kill the item boss and get out of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
unequip the hybrid drive and re-equip it on the floor because I there's just way too much stuff blocking the way. So for anyone who doesn't know the hyper drive just lets me move to any square I want. The only trade off is that you can't you can't enter the exits of the item world. something blocking the way of course there is well I'll need to throw some throw and then move to the next floor well one of these guys is blocking the way so let's kill him enemies on the island, I'll just have my opponent kill those and then I'll just get rid of these guys with the certs. Oh please no big chain. Just three chain. Stinks. At least it's not a horribly large floor. Resistant, huh? I guess he must have like a firefighter in his equipment. That's the only explanation as to why I would do so little damage with grab on bomb. So, um. Keep are we in this item? 54. Oh no, paralysis. Of course. It had to be something. That's what we have fairy dust. Ah, shit. Yeah, I lost that time, but that's okay. We have our other units that can kill her role. Anything with a firefighter. Well, a gatekeeper with a firefighter is probably the worst thing you can see throughout this whole trip then it's likely not going to get one-shotted with Graviton Bomb. So far the progress of Graviton Bomb is going along nicely. Oh, 
actually a pretty short floor. I can probably clear this pretty quickly. Okay, when we're at the point where 100k ain't enough anymore. The other problem is we don't have a robo suit equipped on our Ronin, so she will take a significant amount of damage if she doesn't one shot the enemy. I don't want to waste a Gen C, so I'm gonna have to rush to the. And floor clear it and then revive her. I'm getting some good luck with the uh, location of the exit still. They're pretty close. Pretty close to the base panel. That's nice. Should be approaching the seventy first, the seventieth floor soon. This should be it, I think. We we zip through that one. Well, this is a floor without a uh, and the hyperdrive users dead, so I gotta close the exit. Thanks. So, what's left? We don't have that much left to go here. Already at seventy two. And I'm pretty sure most of the time was spent trying to farm arms, masters, and staff positions, which I've done in between. So I'm just gonna burn all my gen C's that I have on arms, masters, and then roll with whatever amount I end up with. I'm not gonna bother maxing out arms, masters, it, it means farming more, going through unnecessary items. Yeah, it sucks that I have to level up on Arcadia, but I have to get the hyperdrive, and uh, I would mess up Robo Soup. So, um, ideally, leveling up the Robo Soup first is uh, the way to go because you will get a lot of defense from equipping it, which my Ronin just doesn't have right now. Because I leveled much weaker items. I'll oh, put a lot of just need to throw him over here. This doesn't seem like a horribly long floor. 
not a lot of enemies, it's just that it's kind of awkwardly placed. And there's also a clone, which is a problem. Um, need to find a clone. Oh, it's only done. Okay, that worked out. So I have 20 floors left to go, technically 19. Oh, I need at least three people for this one. This robo suit should bump up the stats significantly once it's properly leveled. Especially because it's got the matching rarity with the apocalypse. You know, I think what I could do is equip the pretty costume. It's probably a... I don't know why I didn't think about it sooner. I should have done that. In hindsight, it does make sense. Now, that should fix the problem of getting taking a lot of damage from the enemies. Although it doesn't fix the damage issue. Because the accessories that I pick are rather suboptimal. And uh, that's because uh, of the Unfortunate mistake of prematurely exiting their robo suit. Otherwise, I would be rocking the robo suit right now and not having too much issues with the enemy damage output.
Okay, we have a stray gate. Let's go to it. Pretty close to the end. Oh, we have stuff blocking the way right off the top. Lovely. Okay, pretty close to the end. And after that, I'm gonna burn all my gems and exits on grabbing arms masters. Then we're gonna go properly beat the story. Recovery, invincibility, clone. I gotta get rid of that as soon as possible. Worst situation. Worst thing that can happen is the item god getting cloned. There's an awful lot of invincibility though that has to be remedied. I need to get rid of that recover 20% because I don't want the item god truly healing 20% of its HP. That's that would be a disaster. Sounds really annoying. One more turn and he should be dead. Okay. 
Now we're done with that. Now we're gonna burn through our remaining Gen C exits so we can farm Arms Masters. I'm pretty sure I skipped right there for no reason of time. Oh, I forgot to check what that was. Well, I'll just burn my gem to see if it's the arms master. Come on, you gotta find an arms master already. It's just one thing by itself. Oh yeah, this is definitely PlayStation. Certainly not mobile. Master acquired, so I get two more. This one's thirty nine. The manager's going to help too. Okay, manager, I will take a manager. Basically, I just have to burn all my Gen C exits. Locate all the Arms Masters. Use each Gen C on an Arms Master. Then I can proceed to beat the game. The story. I'm not really sure what they're trying to ask. I mean, I'm obviously playing the game. I need an arms master. I can get out of this item. Oh, killed my Ronin. Stinks. Oh, come on. Such horrible luck here. Good thing is I can reload until I get the arms master to show up. There we go. First try. Figures.
absolutely this is an arms passenger, so let's just go play. We we'll capture that. Have to combine all the rest of this item. I have less of a chance of getting a not arms master. Here's our arms master. One more gen left, and then we can get our two arms masters. Oh, that stinks. We have a few solo ones that I should have probably used. The gen is on. Genesis, nope, I don't. So I'll uh, them all on the I to remove all the ones that I have here. Fourteen oh six. I think that's decent enough. So uh, we're gonna get a maybe a couple more. Not sure how many no I can make. Okay, fourteen eighty four. So I am done with this item world stuff. It's time to finally beat the story. I'm pretty simple. Just gonna use the diabolic column on these guys. Just wait a turn for them to boot up. Most of the time, we get a punch that do. Then that's when we can kill them. Oh, that's right. I need to do this at the max enemy strength. Almost forgot. Okay. Gotta pass the strongest enemies bill. Like this gonna be denied. I'm gonna persuade my force. I should have just done the next stage and then and then went on to pass the strongest enemies bill afterwards. Because the next stage is just the end of the episode already.
definitely on track to get at us mode unlocked. Angels, demons, and humans. This is the one with Don Joaquin. At this point, the hard stuff is over. We just need to do the mandatory story related stuff Okay, let's go. Done, done, and done. Next stage. We're just gonna use two of these, two units at a time, just so I don't have to do too much micromanagement. Just like that, we're already at the boss.
Okay, we got to read this journal entry. Then after that, we're going to have to fight the EDF. It should be the last journal entry I need, then FMO mode will be unlocked. This one's the shortest stage in the whole game, just move the spot and done.
Let's go. Okay, final episode. Now I just have to unlock Etna mode and then do some other stuff like pass the human world bill. Okay, we got testament, so we're locked in Etna mode. Now we're gonna have to go past that human world bill. Okay, Dream Hand has been obtained. We're gonna use Marjorie to clear out these guys. Marjorie and our Roman. We have to clean house easily. After I beat Adele, I'm gonna probably pass the weakest enemy kill after I do the thing with Zeta. Because right now it's just gonna take too long if I continue with Rosalind. Because Rosalind just has way too much HP. So I'll pass weakest enemy build and then I'll take care of Adele and Rosalyn, which I should have done before I passed the bills. That's fine. I'm not even gonna bother stealing their equipment, it's, it's not worth it.
get rid of this tree so I can get my monsters over. At this point, we're just gonna just go and grab a player and Zeta. This is a decent opportunity to level up the skill. We're probably not gonna get a level from it, but we're working towards leveling it up a little bit. Now we're going to pass the stronger enemy bills and then go to town. So I'm going to go to the human world and then when I reach the final stage of the human world area I'm going to enter it and then I'll just tap the boss once so I can get the EX bosses trophy and then that's it. Complete. That's all you need to do. You don't need to get the human world ending. Just enter the stage, kill Astro Carter, and then you're done.
should have used the Rona for that, but whatever. Like this, so the parties removed. Okay. Now we have this, this cutscene, then we will get a trophy at the end of all of this. At this point, the only trophies I have left are Etna mode and then the reincarnation trophies and the 10 million damage. So that's what? Five trophies left? I think I hit one too many trophies. There we go. Play Etna story from the beginning, and I'm going to make a save here. Alright, I think I'm gonna actually add twenty five trophies. I'm not sure where I got the extra from. Okay, 
after this, we're gonna go unlock the table for deals. I'm gonna have to do the promotion exams with my role, aren't I? So I need to reach at least level uh, Sword Mastery 10. To unlock the called Wing Slayer. It shouldn't take too long because we have a whole huge stack of arms master at our disposal. I just need to reach Sword Mastery. So I, I will need to reach promotion rank 3 for the option to incarnate to unlock. Okay, now we have to just pass the bill for the ordeals. That's 61, looks pretty enticing. I should have gone for that one. Oh shoot. Yeah, that works. That's fine. It's raid by force. Just gonna end my turn so that the units will come closer, then we're gonna drop out of them with our AOE skills and the certs. Wing Slayer has been locked, and now we're gonna just put it killing these guys. Probably don't want to end up there because I will want to use the diabolic I'm gonna need to put my maze if I wanna level down here, which is my key. Uh, ninja, okay, there we go. Keep ninja, brawler, and scout, and male warrior. Oh shit. Really?
I'm trying to get these units up to level. What is it? Level 200 so that they can unlock the divine margin. to get rid of all this stuff. There's just too much items that I don't really need. Only one more unit left to level 200 and we can lock the divine margin. Essentially we are just using team attacks to level up our characters. Damn it, oh, that stinks. Eighty percent chance to win. Perfect setup, too. I don't need to worry about leveling other characters up anymore, just the Ronin. So I just need to get her to level 3000 ish, then we can reincarnate. 
our stat gains will be a lot better once we once we are able to reincarnate a couple times our stat gains will be come massive. I'm going to be running right after this one. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to do so? And there's the margin. I'm gonna have to do this first few levels with the axe because uh, doing it with the axe is the main way to one shot these guys. Should be able to shot these guys now. Hopefully, just hoping. Maybe next round. Okay, well that group was a two shot. So I'm only gonna reincarnate twice. The first reincarnation is to reincarnate into a Majin so I can level him up and unlock Divine Majin, and then the second reincarnation is to reincarnate into a Divine Majin itself. We want Divine Majin because he's got the best aptitudes for attack. So he's got Reincarnating to a divine module will get, get us the most stat boost from our equipment. Which is exactly what we need. So once this guy reaches round 3000, I will reincarnate. Just a couple more clears of this and then I'll be able to reincarnate it into a divine margin. Okay, the one shot. Yeah, 
Slime Slayer. Now we're going to reincarnate into the Vine Margin. So here's the Vine Margin. Maybe another reincarnation might work. Because the. I still need like a hundred. I need at least a hundred um, in a tap, the base attack. It's just that it's gonna be a pain to level up like, from scratch again, because I have to keep doing this each time. Maybe I can get away with just this reincarnation, we'll see. I remember how close I was cutting it last time, and I believe I did have a hundred base attack. So maybe that's probably the way to go. I need to reincarnate it again so I can have a hundred base attack. And then this will be the time where we do the aqua power leveling. I really just need to reincarnate again, but damn, it's pretty slow when you have to work your way up so that you can one shot these guys. I think I'll probably just roll with this reincarnation because I don't really feel like having to beat these guys up over and over. I don't like having to two turn this map. It's just a bit too time consuming for such a short stay. This is what I wanted to do. It, take, it took several minutes just to get to this point. This is more than enough, I think. Then this should be the last reincarnation that I need to get the 10 million damage. But of course, I still have to grind it out so that I can get. Um, I still have to reincarnate 10 times, anyways. So that'll work towards that a little bit.
Okay, that's a huge stack, bro. You can probably come to the two shot stage now. Didn't take that long. Huge. Shouldn't take that long to get back to the point where I'm one shotting them. Okay, I'm one shotting them a little bit now. Okay, it definitely doesn't take too long to attack at this point. Okay, and then. I guess it's just an initial hump that you have to get over, then once you win, I a few times, it's pretty easy. One shot these guys again. You know, we're at the point where we can one shot these guys comfortably. Definitely clean one shot now. I'm gonna grind to about 5,000. 6,000. That's all what I'm shooting for. This grind should be fairly quick because you just have to use one skill. Move up one space, you swing slayer, and you're done. So once I'm level 5000, or 6000, then I will move on and be at the mode. What am I? How many levels am I getting for clear? Like it's about one twenty. It's about one twenty. To reach level 6000, I'll stop.
books again, then time to do edit mode. Next. Our club, we're gonna just place through everything. My mod is going to get revived next episode, anyways. Now we're going to get a trophy for ep uh, episode 1. And Ethna 1 is done. Groups gonna die to do the amount of fans, and we'll just call it fans here and the amount of 
I might be able to pull off the eight hour thirty minute time, but it's gonna be cutting it really close. Oh, that doesn't feel very smooth. Yep, that definitely didn't feel very smooth. Kind of a bit concerned about the uh, tap though. Oh, I gotta fetch the thing. Yeah. 
Yep, I, I gotta fetch this thing. Um, the belt. Leveled up the belt from the, the warehouse. Oh, we're gonna need to do some level grinding to get the stats high enough. Well, let's try 7,000. Masters is really hurting here. We're not getting the the stats that we want because of the arms masters not being maxed out. That means our axe master is much lower than normal. To make up for the lack of arms master pick up, and then we're gonna have to use Hodges a lot more. Okay, 1.2. We should be able to get 1.4. Good enough. Um, if he uses the axe enough times. Masters right now are 1500, which definitely isn't the uh, maximum. So it's like 20%, no, 25% lower.
think I might need more level finding. The problem with the level grinding it though is that it doesn't fix the problem that I have right now, which is the lock of the arms as there's not being maxed out. So I'm not exactly working on the weapon mastery while I'm doing this, because I have to use a sword here this quickly. Okay, this is about all I can do really. One more. Alright, I'll just clear. I'll just clear at the moment from here on out. Solo module. Okay. So all we gotta do left is unlock Cape Ordeals, go through the entirety of that. I can probably get most of the Axe Master that I need from there. And after that, 10 million damage should come pretty easily. So I should get most of the missing stats I need just from spamming the stats. The high counter attack definitely helps. Yeah, we 
it should be fine. Just have to mostly solo with the margin for most of this. Have to go through all this and then demon hall here. I'm expecting to get at least graviton bomb to seventeen. Definitely getting quite a few stats from doing the solo margin. I'm gonna have to take off my weapon for off I mean swap weapons for the for the S3 stage because the drawing stage. I don't think we'll be able to do a lot of Graviton Bomb eighteen. So let's just leave it like that. That's the end of ordeals regular. Now we just have the demon hall mirror. I need to see which one of my is appropriate. Draw another one. Okay, let's 
hope for the best. If we don't get it this time, we'll have to do extra grinding. Let me try again. If this is the same result we'll get, I'll just grind the axe master a little bit. Not enough. Probably getting Graviton Bomb to make me work out nicely. Either that or leveling up Axe Master a lot more, what we've got right now. Should be able to get it to 18. I'll try again once it's 18. Already at 1.4. We just need to get that little bit more in. to 104 mm. 104 axe mastery it's definitely a decent way to grind the weapon mastery
stat points go to Tommy Bomb, which is 18, then we'll test it. With the added stats from the extra mastery plus the Graviton Bond leveled up, we should be able to get the 10 million. Okay. I'll rip the uh, 830. I think if I reset and did episode 1 properly, I would have gotten it. Whatever. Okay, let's try this again. Should be able to do it this time. There's our 10 million. Now we just need to go reincarnate 10 times, and that's it. I want to retain as much of the Bubble Master as possible without having to invest too much points. I'm not doing the the grinding stage because uh, it's definitely not going to be a one shot. So if you're wondering, if you're wondering why I'm not doing ordeals free, that's why. Definitely won't be able to one shot those guys. Once we keep Wing Slayer, it's fine. At this point, the only trophy left is the 10 reincarnations. I should be almost done. I just hope I don't lose King Slayer too soon. Otherwise, yeah, I think that's not enough. 
Okay, you no, know I could do I could do the promotion of gems. I should do uh, this. Oh, there we go. And trophy complete. <laughs> Should have done that thing with hope save in a minute or so. I wonder if this game has a skin game time. Like, wait, yes it does. Let me just check the this guy. Okay, that's seven hours fifty nine minutes game time. Yep, I sure did it. And that question mark is is the Astro Carter. Which I wrapped up of when I killed it, didn't just for the trophy. Yeah, less than eight hours of game time. So that's that wraps up the last of the this guy a one complete platinum stacks. It's all uh, 